Hi, 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 hi. Now we are going to make one more concept strong. Concept is symbol. We want to find or we want to check the sign of various trigonometric ratios in various quadrants, right? For that purpose, first I am going to draw the x, y coordinates, right? Now this line will represent x coordinate and this line will represent our y coordinates. So I am marking this as x x6 right and this i am marking as y x6 right now this coordinates that is x coordinate and y coordinates divides the plane into four quadrants this is our first quadrant and this is our second quadrant and i am moving in anti clockwise direction this is our third quadrant and our fourth quadrant. So the entire xy plane is divided into four quadrants. Now we want to check what is the sign of various trigonometric ratios in these quadrants. That is, various trigonometric ratios means sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. Now we have two signs, either a positive sign or a negative sign. Suppose I am starting from x axis, that is this point. So this will represent 0 degree. I am moving in anti clockwise direction, that is in, in this direction. I read y axis, so the angle is pi by 2. And again moving in this direction and reading the negative real axis or negative x axis, that is 180 degree. And again moving in anti clockwise direction and reading negative y axis. This is 270 degree angle and again moving in an anti clockwise direction and again reading the positive x axis that is 360 degree or we can call it is a zero degree point okay right now what is positive angle and negative angle for that purpose i am drawing x axis and y axis again i draw a line like this and measured angle in this direction that is in clockwise direction so this angle is marked as minus some angle. Let it be 45 degrees. So minus 45 degree. And again, I draw a line like this. And marking the angle in this direction. So this is denoted by minus theta. That means angle measured in clockwise direction is treated as negative. Clockwise direction means the direction in which the hands of clock moves, whether second hand, minute hand, or half hand. We know that the direction of clockwise rotation is like this. This is a clockwise direction. The hands of clock will move in this direction. So this is our clockwise direction. Right. So any angle measured in clockwise direction is treated as negative. Now, what is positive angle? That means I'm again drawing x-axis and y-axis. I am drawing a line like this and measuring the angle in this direction. That means now I moved in anti-clockwise direction. That is opposite to the direction of which the hands of clocks move. So let this angle is 45 degree. So I read this as plus 45 degree. So that means angle is measured in anti-clockwise direction. Suppose I have a line like this. I am moving in this direction. So angle is measured in this direction. This is positive angle. Let this be plus theta. So any angle measured in anti-clockwise direction. Anti-clockwise direction means opposite to the direction in which the hands of clock moves. That is treated as positive. If angle is measuring in clockwise direction, that is the direction in which the hands of clock moves, that is treated as negative. So we have two angles, either positive angle or negative angle. If angle is measured in clockwise direction, that is treated as negative. And if the angle is measured in anti-clockwise direction, that will be treated as positive. So, we can generalize our concept. So, this is an angle that I measure in anti-clockwise direction. So, this is denoted by plus theta. Suppose I am measuring this angle in this direction. That means 
I am moving in clockwise direction. Then this angle is treated as negative. Let it be minus some theta 1. Right. Similarly, suppose this is our angle. And I am moving in anti-clockwise direction. So this positive real axis is 0 degree. This angle is 90 degree. So this angle is 90 degree. That is positive y axis is making an angle of 90 degree. I am moving in this direction and reach on negative x axis. So 0, 90, this is plus 180 degree. I am angle in anti clockwise direction and reaching this point. So this is 270 degree. So negative y axis is making an angle 270 degree. Suppose I am moving in this direction and again read the positive real axis. So this angle is 360 degree. So one complete rotation will make an angle of 360 degree. Suppose this is 0 degree. I am moving in clockwise direction. That is the direction in the hands of the clock moves. So this angle that is negative y axis. This angle is marked as nine, uh, minus 90 degree. Suppose I am moving in clockwise direction and read the negative x-axis. This angle is treated as minus 180 degree. I am moving in this direction and this angle, that is a positive y-axis, this is treated as minus 270 degree. Again, I am moving in this direction and reach on positive real x-axis. Then this is 360 degree. But what about the sign? Sign is minus so minus 360 degree so this is a sign of angle is measured in various quadrants again i am drawing x axis and y axis this divides the plane into four quadrant this is our first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant we are starting from positive x axis this is zero degree this angle is pi by 2. This angle is 2 pi by 2. Pi by 2 means 90 degree. This angle is 3 pi by 2. And again, we read this point. This become 4 pi by 2. This angle become 5 times pi by 2. This angle become 6 times pi by 2. This angle become 7 times pi by 2. This angle become 7, then 8. 8 pi by 2. This angle become 9 pi by 2. This angle become 10 pi by 2. I am writing here 10 pi by 2. This angle become 11 pi by 2. This angle become 12 pi pi by 2. So, this is becomes continuous. So, the positive real axis, this is 0 degree. Then, 4 pi by 2. 4 pi by 2 means 2 pi. Then, we have 8 pi by 2. That means 4 pi. Then, 12 pi by 2. That means 6 pi. Next is 16 pi by 2. That means 8 pi. In general, we can represent 0 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi, 10 pi, 12 pi, 14 pi and so on. Or this can be denoted by 2 n pi. Where n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so on. So when n, when n is equal to 0, this becomes 0. When n is equal to 1, 2 pi. n is equal to 2, 4 pi. n is equal to 3, 6 pi. n is equal to 4 and 8 pi. So the positive x-axis is represented by the angle either 0 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi, and so on. Now, consider the positive y axis. That is denoted by angle pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, 9 pi by 2, then 13 pi by 2, and so on. In general, we can say 4 n plus 1 multiplied by pi by 2. When n is equal to 0, this becomes pi by 2. When n is equal to 1, 
4 into 1 plus 4 into 1 plus 1 that is 5 pi by 2. When n is equal to 2, 4 into 2, 8 plus 1 that is 9 pi by 2. When n is equal to 3, 4 into 3 that is 12 plus 1 that is 13 pi by 2 and so on. Now consider the negative x axis. We have 2 pi by 2. 2 pi by 2 means pi. Then we have 6 pi by 2 that means 3 pi. Then we have 10 pi by 2 that means 5 pi. Then next is 7 pi. So the negative x axis means either degree pi, 3 pi, 5 pi, 7 pi, 9 pi and so on. So positive real axis means even multiple of pi and negative x axis that means odd multiple of pi. Now consider the negative y axis. We have 3 pi by 2, 7 pi by 2, 11 pi by 2 and so on. So in general we can say the negative y axis that is 4n plus 3 multiplied by pi by 2. When n is equal to 0, this becomes 3 pi by 2. When n is equal to 1, that is 4 into, 4 into 1 plus 3, that is 7 pi by 2. And when n is equal to 2, that is 4 into 2, 8 plus 3, 11, 11 pi by 2. And so on. When n is equal to 3, 4 into 3, 12 plus 3, that becomes 15. So we get 15 pi by 2, right. In general, we can say the positive x-axis that is represented by the even multiple of pi, either 0 degree, 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi, etc. Negative x-axis that is represented by odd multiple of pi, either pi, 3 pi, 5 pi, 7 pi, etc. In general, that is denoted by 2n plus 1 multiplied by pi. When n is equal to 0, pi. When n is equal to 1, 2 into 1 plus 1. That is 3, 3 pi. When n is equal to 2, 2 into 2, 4 plus 1. That becomes 5 pi. When n is equal to 3, 2 into 3, 6, 6 plus 1, 7 pi, and so on. So we can represent the positive x-axis by 2 and pi. And negative x axis by 2n plus 1 pi. And positive y axis by 4n plus 1 pi by 2. And negative y axis by 4n plus 3 pi by 2. Right. In the coming session, we will discuss how the sign of trigonometric ratios change. In short, I am giving a brief explanation. All trigonometric ratios are positive in first quadrant. That is sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant. And cosecant is positive in first quadrant. In second quadrant, only sine is positive. Sine positive means cosecant is obviously positive. That means cosec is equal to 1 by sine. In third quadrant, tan is positive. Tan positive means obviously cot is also positive. That we know that cot is equal to 1 by tan. And in fourth quadrant, cos is positive. Obviously, C is also positive. So, in first quadrant, all trigonometric ratios are positive. In second quadrant, sin and cosec is positive. And in third quadrant, tan and cot is positive. And in fourth quadrant, cos and secant is positive. We will discuss the concept in detail in the coming session. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Again, welcome to Outens Edis online classes. Make your concepts strong. Be the future IITN. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Bye, bye.